Hey everybody, welcome back to Letterman Row. It's Buck IQ. After a big game for the tight ends, you know that we got to have Jake Stoneburner in. He's begging for it all the time. And those Buckeyes, uh, Jeremy Ruckert, Jake Hausman, Luke Farrell, big impact and a big win. I don't must be something about playing in Beaver Stadium, Stoney. I remember uh, somebody in 2012 sprinting down the middle of the field for a tight end touchdown. I was. We were just talking about that. It's something, something about Penn State, really. You can even go back to Jake Ballard and Rory Nickel. They've scored a couple of touchdowns there. Me, Hireman, Van Nett. Now we got uh, Ruckert scoring a pair there. It's something about Penn State and tight ends we seem to mesh well with. All right. Well, how can uh, how can those Buckeyes tight ends keep that going? Uh, what have you liked so far? Uh, I mean, it was only two catches in the opener, so you were maybe a little concerned there. But then six the next week for that unit. Uh, how can they keep that going? I think just being more involved overall in the whole entire offense. You know, I think I saw in the first game, just the routes weren't there as often as I, I mean, maybe it was just the play calling, but as far as the second game, I felt like they were at the point of the attack of all, even the running the ball and a lot of the play calls were based out of that 12 personnel, which I helped, I think helps get Jeremy open a little bit more. Um, I was really impressed with both Jeremy and uh, Luke's blocking. You know, it, to me, I think that's the big step I've seen Jeremy in Jeremy's game in these first two weeks is his ability to be that inline blocking tight end and not be a liability out there, which I think that's all they were asking for out of him. I, I feel like we've, we've talked about this, you know, every year, but before you were even playing about, you know, getting the tight ends involved, but then also the importance that they have in the rushing attack. And now that 12 personnel that you reference, Ohio State seems able to do everything they want offensively because those guys hold up so well as rushers. They're passing their threats in the passing game. And it really like that grouping has been out there maybe more than I anticipated. Yeah, me too. It almost seems like they're base grouping because they can do so much into it. And that really that's just based off Jeremy being able to block. It allows him to be able to be that receiving threat, but also come in line and be that blocking threat. And so now defenses have to play for both and being able to go out there in that 12 personnel and not know, hey, we're going to pound it down in your throat or spread it out and be able to throw it. That's a that's a that keeps defenses on their toes at all times. Well, when tight ends score two touchdowns, we're not going to break down blocking today. We're going to look at Jeremy Ruckert making that impact, getting in the end zone a couple times, let Stoney uh, dive into some clips that I know he'll have been looking forward to since Saturday night. Let's roll the tape. All right, Stoney, as you know, not, I mean, not every catch for a tight end is going to, going to be a huge game changer, and, and some of them you, know, you can still see room for improvement, but this is Justin Fields gets a look, and it looks like that blitz is coming, and he goes instantly to Jeremy Ruckert. He knows that – he can make a catch and, and get him a couple positive yards. There's a little high-low um, route tree over here, a stick in a flat, and it, he's just basically reading the flat defender. A flat defender comes hauling off the corner. He knows he's got Jeremy right away. Jeremy does a good job getting his eyes around quickly, being an open target for the quarterback, which is, gives a quarterback huge confidence knowing he can just get the ball out there and being able to embrace and take the hit and hold on to the ball. Yeah, it's a one- and two-yard gain, but that just gives building confidence in both the offensive coordinator and the quarterback knowing that I can just toss the ball out there and the tight end's going to make a play no matter if he's going to get hit or not. Another example, too, of that 12 personnel, putting them on the same side. You can, I feel like you know, this only got you a couple yards through the Buckeyes, but there's probably more built off of this that we saw even going back to last year in the opener where those two were – we're playing off each other with a couple of route concepts. Oh, yeah, there's some real great two, two-sided two route concepts with tight ends that they're, I'm sure they're just keeping in their back pocket. All right, so that won't be the sexiest one that a tight end gets, but this one, uh, I know you've said it a thousand times, middle of the field, tight ends open. This is wow. free money right here. What well, Free money. I'm not sure what the safeties are thinking here. Um, as soon as that flat defender, Jeremy's already got inside leverage of him, that other safety – I don't know if he's got mixed up on um, which one he's got, but that's wide open. Jeremy gets his head around immediately, which is probably the biggest part of the play is, as you can see, four or five steps in, he turns his head around. He knows he's wide open. I guarantee he's not supposed to get his head open that quick. <laughs> he goes, all right, I'm wide open here. Give me the ball. Give me the ball. Looks, quarterback gets in the ball right on the money, makes the catch, walk in in the end zone. Looks easy. Uh, seems simple, and you should make those plays, but that's what, that's what being a Big Ten or high state level is, is you get your head around, you see the blitz, you see a wide open, the quarterback, you on the same page, easy. Yeah, so, so you think this was maybe just an alert from him, like there's no coverage, because Justin Fields, and, and he seems to see it at the exact same time as Rucker. Yeah, to me, they're probably deeper. This Rucker here is supposed to take scream through the middle and maybe take out a safety. If, if it's cover three, cut, cut across the safety's face, cover two, split the middle. All of a sudden, he's, oh, his eye, he turns around and goes, there's just literally no one here. Um, <laughs> I don't know where the safety is. I don't know what defense they're playing. Maybe it looks like a, a four 
two, you know, cover eight. I'm not sure at all. Uh, dead wrong. And that just, Jeremy does a great job of getting his head around um, and being ready for the ball. I'm sure he wasn't the first option on that either, but just being able to improvise and say, hey, here we go. Yeah. Another one here, this looks like it's designed, maybe a design kind of slip screen or, or something like that or another hot read. I don't know, but you'd know that better than me. But this is another example of like Ohio State continuing to find different ways to get you know, Jeremy Ruckert or Luke Farrell involved on, from different looks than maybe you're accustomed to. It's, it's just back to him being aware. Um, up on the let's start coming on the edge and get your head around knowing that I'm the guy hot. I don't know if I don't know their offense, you know, too in, too in depth to know how they their hots are built in, but this is just a natural reaction by 88 here, taking a blitzer off the edge, giving him a little chip and getting his head around knowing like, hey, I'm wide open right here. Yeah, he's not going to get 15, 20 yards, but I mean, look at that, just a little simple check down, use a little stiff arm, and now we're back in third and manageable instead of second and 15. Yeah, that stiff arm, you're moving and you get 14 yards in that situation. Oh. Not a lot more you can ask for, and that opens up the playbook there. Speaking of opening up the playbook, I know this one got you really excited. Oh, yeah. I love these little fake ones. Uh, this is an Urban Meyer classic. I think Braxton threw me one of these back in the day. Um, it's simple, fake to run, get the defense to take one step up field. Like we said, you can see number nine, the, the safety bites real hard, the linebackers, and it's, it's game over. Jeremy also do a sell one step and take off, and he's wide open. That was a great play call by Coach Day there. Great execution selling the run there. You can look at all the linebackers, safeties. They're all coming right up. And as soon as Justin takes his step up, they're all stepping up. Jeremy's already passed them all, and it's too late. This is, a great, this is really a great play call, great execution by the offensive line and the running back selling the run, but heck of a play call right here. So since you've actually got to run this, how hard is it to sell that, that run fake knowing that, like, hey, this, this play is coming to me. Oh, it should be an easy oh. touchdown. It's, you, that's the one thing you got to focus on is if I don't sell it, it's not going to be an easy touchdown. So you never want to get out too quick because there's been too many times where guys don't sell it and the linebackers buy it so easily. Jeremy stays in just enough to make their, that cornerback realize, like, oh, oh, shit, that should have been my guy right there and <laughs> got him beat. It's just they got to get that one step up, and you, that tight end takes a step, acting he's blocking, and boom, got him right, right past him. That's, that's one of my favorite plays, especially when you can just run it up the middle like that. Going down, going forward, now a team always has to be on their heels. Are they going to do this to us? You know, pop it in the back of the end zone, or are they just going to run it right down our throat? That's a great play to, option to have right down there in the two or three yard line. A lot of options opening up in this Ohio State playbook, and the tight ends are a big reason why. I know Jake Stoneburner is thrilled with that turn of events. A lot more to come, it looks like, uh, for these Buckeyes at that position. Exciting for him. That means a lot more Buckeye cues for Stoney. I like it. I like it. Let's go. All right. A couple touchdowns for Jeremy Ruckert. More to come this season. More Buckeye cues coming to you at Letterman Row. Appreciate Jake Stoneburn for his time. I'm Austin Ward. We'll see you next time at Letterman Row for Buckeye Cue.